Over 500 families with people living with disabilities in the district of Mokono have been blessed with food items worth 30 million Uganda shillings. Now, the donation which came from Timely God-led Club in their routine outreaches included food and basic essentials like blankets, beddings, reusable sanitary towels for young girls and women, among others. Living with disabilities of Kasao Rural or Kasao Town Council and Namuganga Sub County, all in Mukono District, have been with food items and essentials including posho, sugar, rice, blankets, beddings, reusable sanitary pads to the girls and women. Given out posho or maize flour to this our people with the disabilities because we understand that nowadays food is very expensive in our markets and we've decided as a church timely god led club to go and buy food come distribute to these people one on one and the difference is we reach down to the community jesus said go to where your people are and preach to them the word of god this is another way of preaching the gospel of jesus christ secondly we brought them blankets it is cold season the weather is very cold and uh, we decided to buy blankets to give them so that they can cover themselves. The founder and directors of Timely God-Led Club, a charity organization, Pastor Brenda and Emmanuel Binaisa, said that the organization do routine visits to the poor to give them a hand by providing food and household basic needs to the disabled families. And also we brought uh, reusable sanitary pads for the girl child, for the girl child. You know, uh, these pads we distribute to the people, they are reusable with a guarantee of 18 months. You take this pad. pads is not what to come about. We have to know 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 what to come about. The outreach was joined by Nabitaka Fatuman Disaba, Mokono RDC, the area and district councillors who appreciated the organization for remembering the poor always. We are grateful that the church has honored that obligation of giving out what it received to those uh, persons with disabilities and the vulnerable persons. I've seen them on several occasions providing to the disabled, to the needy in Mukono district. Even before when COVID-19 had not yet started, we've been seeing these people giving or donating materials to use to the disabled fraternity of Mukono district. Of recent community also appreciated the continued support rendered to the disability fraternity done every week. <laughs> has registered over 2,000 families of people with disabilities in Greater Mukono and the nearby communities and provides food, household basic needs and education to the disadvantaged and the needy.